call it, here on basically coming to you from my porch while we're outside having a cigar, enjoying stuff, and we're going to be talking about communications. Now, a little disclaimer, I do want to state this week's episode has been pre-recorded. Uh, we did want to, we, we decided to step it up this week, and when I say we, it's basically me and myself. We decided to step it up this week, and we, the last couple weeks, we've been doing it via Facebook Live, we've downloaded video, then posted it on YouTube. Well, a lot of people are saying, hey, I don't have Facebook, or the stream quality was really bad. It was really bad, and I apologize. The camera quality was kind of horrible. But we got some new equipment. We got some new cameras. We got some new microphones on there, too. Um, need to put up a windshield here from there. But this episode is recorded. Now, the reason being is, is that YouTube has some weird restrictions and stuff, and you have to get the accounts approved, and it takes a while. Is that? But we do plan to move getting to YouTube streaming and maybe a couple other different ways for it. So um, as you see, we still have the traffic going by behind us. So I do want to apologize. I did say we're going to be live at 8 o'clock here on Monday, but this is a recorded episode. We plan to be back live next week. But understand that there might be a few times where we are going to have to do a actual recorded episode. We can't do it live here. So um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining us here. <clears throat> Even though this is recorded, don't be afraid to leave your comments. <clears throat> this video is going to be posted on YouTube, so maybe you're watching it here now. Put a comment in there. Talk about it. Interact with us by all means. And then um, if you're on watching it on Facebook, because we will post it on Facebook there, go ahead and put some comments in there. Let's open up the discussion. And um, even though it's recorded, we can still have a discussion, and I'll check back in there. So before, uh, I guess let's talk about what we're going to talk about this week. So this week, we're going to talk about what is a feature or, an, or something you look for in a radio, a scanner, a pager, something like that. Some form of two-way radio communications equipment. Could be a CB, could be GMRS, FRS radios, whatever the case may be. What are you looking for in a radio? Now, let me just preface this with that. On communications and cigars here, we really try to be non-branded and non-manufacturer based and specific. Because there's a lot of stuff about communications. So when we're talking about these things tonight... Remember to go ahead and keep it non-branded. Let's talk about the features of the radio, the scanner, whatever you want, okay? Let's talk about those kind of things there. Let's not, let's not get into, uh, you know, a, 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 a manufacturer war or anything like that. I, I really like to keep it non-branded, non-specific about things on there. So, while tonight's episode, <clears throat> while I've been sitting up, I actually start a little bit early. But tonight I have a new Connecticut um, it's a nice uh, golden brown uh, leaf wrap. They're very short. They're very small. They're very nice. It's a nice ring size on diameter here. I have a I have a great punch, and, you know, because we are talking about communications and cigars. We do have to talk about this lovely punch that I got here. Um, it actually not only is it is it a larger diameter punch on the one side, um, it has a smaller diameter punch on there. But what I really really like about it. As we unscrew the cap at the end, it has a kind of a long in there. And I've, I've used that sort of um, other cigars that I've had that I've actually had a punch and kind of poke through. And then for some bigger cigars, if you don't actually want to punch it, it's got a double prong kind of um, center in there, there so you can do that. So that is what I will be enjoying here tonight on communications and cigars for Monday, September 20th. So, let's face it, if we're involved with communications, if we are buying radio products, if we are buying scanners, you definitely have something that you're going to look for in a scanner, in a radio, in, in any sort of communication device. We do it with cell phones. We do it with computers. I mean, even when I was researching for the new cameras here that I'm using, I had specific things I had in my mind that needed to say, and hey, here's what it is. Here's what I want in that device. Here's what I want for it. So I, I knew right away what I wanted to go in it. Now, when we're in the radio hobby or we're in the communications hobby, or maybe you're in, in communications professionally. So maybe you're doing this as like a radio tech or maybe you're using, doing it as the radio guy for your fire department or EMS or something like that on our day. Hey, great, not a problem whatsoever. But you have specific needs in mind or you have specific wants in mind. And those wants 
I think are kind of interesting. And the way I say it's interesting is, is that sometimes I, I kind of draw two columns, if we say for sake of a better term. The two columns are actually saying, hey, I want this, I like this, I need this. Where the other ones are saying it's a requirement of it. Okay, it's a requirement of it. Now, one thing I know, let me point out as, I, as I'm checking my screen here to make sure everything's going. We did add a couple things here. So I think it's right about maybe here, I think it is. Look at the screen here. We got a new title bar here, so you know what you're watching. And then thank you. Got to do a hand shout out to the beautiful K9BIS, my XYL, my partner in crime, my partner in production and all the stuff that we do. She made the nice communications and cigar logo um, right, right, I think it's up here in the corner. Oh, maybe right there. Anyways, she made that nice logo. We put it on our uh, Facebook page. We also, or, and on our YouTube channel. By the way, let me go back. Our YouTube channel now is, if you notice, Communications and Cigars. So if you're trying to find it a lot easier, search Communications and Cigars. Better than searching my name, John Crook, because let's face it, if you do type in John Crook, you're going to get nothing but the baseball player, like the, the ex-Philly baseball player who was San Diego Padres. You're going to get that, 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 and then there might be one video from me and stuff like that. So on there. So just a, a heads up. I should have said that earlier, so I do apologize. But let's get back to the matter at hand. What do we want? So we have the likes, the, the, the wants, the I would love that feature, and then we have the I need that feature. I, 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 I should say needed. Let me put it this way. I have to have that feature as a requirement. It is a requirement of that feature. Now, can this sometimes be technical? Yes, it can. Can this sometimes be cosmetic? Yes, it can. Can it sometimes be a feature-ish? And, and meaning like, I don't need it for the job. I, I can live without it. But man, I would really like it. That's a problem. Sometimes I talk too much and it just goes out. Especially on a windy day today. So with that being said, I have two radios here. I actually have a radio and a scanner. And I guess once again, reminder, we are non, I like to keep our channel non-branded, non-specific. So I don't want this to turn into a, well, this company has this and this company has this. No, 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 no. Um, let's keep it non-branded, non-manufacturer specific and stuff. Let's talk about what you find in that radio on there. And make sure, once again, hit us up in the comments section on there. It continue the conversation even though it's recorded. I will try to hang around here tonight while you're watching it at 8, and I will check back in, try to answer and interact with you. Just uh, going live streaming this week was not set up in time, unfortunately. So, going to start out with my public safety radio. So my public safety radio here um, that I, I use has features in there that I really like, and I, and I really... Once again, comes in this category of I really like it, I really wanted it, I, I felt the radio needed to have it, but then there's other ones. Once again, that it's like it's required as operational and functionality. All righty, so that's that's the cool part about this thing. So I'll start out with the functionality part because I think that's that's the biggest thing that really needs to do is like when you're buying something, you're looking to buy something communication wise, you need to make sure it's functionality because functionality needs to be sought after where to a degree the wants or needs i guess you could say it should say more the wants or the likes would be better to say can sometimes be put into it later now that could be through firmware upgrade that could be through a lot of things and it's really interesting because that's happening a lot with radios now radios and radios are more and more are becoming little computers that transmit so some of the things that I needed for functionality. Functionality, I needed to have big PTT buttons, okay? Once again, business, public safety, for me, even, even amateur, FRS, GMRS, well, more so GMRS and stuff, Marine, I wanted something that has a big PTT button. I want to be able to take, if I have a radio, I want to be able to take and put two fingers on there and feel it. Plus, I want a solid PTT button. That's what I want. Textured is nice, but once again, that's a, that's a I would like that, but as long as a PTT button is big, that's what I wanted. A functionality um, a thing on there, uh, once again, is going to be the controls, the dials have to be spaced out. Because that goes along 
with that PTT button functionality on there. If I'm wearing a glove or something like that, and I don't mean like, you know, like a fire service glove or something could be, but I'm talking like a winter glove or have something on my hands that's going to dull the sensation or be big and bulky. Yeah, I, I don't I don't want that on there. All righty. Another obviously big thing is I need a nice big kind of speaker on the radio. You know, if I'm wearing it on my hip, okay, and I don't have a speaker mic attached to the radio, I need something that's going to be able to have a, a big, nice, huge speaker on it for functionality purposes on there another thing which for me is functionality for some is like uh eh, hit or miss size size of the radio i want a big nice radio i want a radio that i can take out and 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 especially you know on scene in an emergent situation i can pull this radio off my hip and i can use it i can feel it i know what's going on with it um, it's, it's, it's really solid on there. And the final, the last part for when we're talking about functionality for what you have for, it has to have that on there. I want a belt clip that doesn't attach to the battery. All righty. And now you're saying, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That, that could go into a want. Yeah, it can. But for me, that's a functionality thing because if I have the belt clip attached to the battery, I'm afraid that I may get a battery that doesn't have the belt clip. Um, it may, the belt clip may break and the mounts on the battery. Well, then guess what? I can't use um, that battery with the belt clip anymore. I mean, I could use a holster on it and everything, but I, I, I feel that for functionality for me, and once again, this is me, uh, it needs to be attached to the radio. Okay. That's once again, that's, that's something for me and the functionality aspect of it. Now let's talk about the, the wants, okay? The I would like this to have. So one thing for me is the top display. I wanted to have a top display on there. Now the reason I wanted to have a top display is because sometimes I will wear the radio on my hip in like a holster. I'll have the speaker towards me because I'll hear it a little bit better. But if I need to see what channel is or something like that, I can see it right from the top. And I'll go ahead and turn it, turn it on here and give you a little bit of an example. And I hope... I hope you can kind of see there. Let me move look like kind of there a little bit. But you see how it lights up there? Maybe you can't see it on there. But that display comes up, and when people are talking, I can see if I'm using digital or if I'm using MDC 1200 or other signaling modes. I can actually see the ID, plus I can see the channel I'm on. Okay. Now, another silly little thing, but but this is this is kind of all hard about it is I like to hear the channel announcement. I want to make channel announcements. W -W -A. So I'm going to the fire channel. Fire channel. Hey, it tells me fire channel. Now you're like, well, that's stupid. You should know what channel you're on. Right. If I'm looking down at the radio, right. But if I'm in a hot situation or I'm doing something where like what channel am I on? I know that I could just turn it and it will tell me the channel. So I could go to, you know, uh, I can, you know, uh, and I'll go through like some of the other channels, but we'll say like fire channel. And then let's see what this come on fire here. Channel. So, and then it will tell me, whoop, maybe I didn't program it all there. Let me turn off scan here real quick. But like, if I want to change it. Fire ground red. Great. I'm on the fire ground red channel. Hey, you need to go over to the paging channel. Okay. Paging channel. Oh, I'm on the paging channel. Okay, cool. I could do that. I could turn it one by one by one. And I know people are like, you should know what channel you're fire on. Channel. I've had numerous people tell me that. You should always know what channel you're on. Yeah, you should, but I would agree with that when we had 16 channel radios for like public safety or business radios. But now when you're talking like a thousand channels and stuff like that on there, having that, that tell me what channel I'm on, that's something I want. I like to have that in the future. The other thing I like to actually have is I like to have a full keypad. Now, that's a kind of a, a cross kind of thing. So here's what I mean by that. When I'm talking about a full um what I'm talking about, oof, the wind almost blew off this one. Um, when I'm talking about a full keypad, the reason I want the full keypad on there is not to program the radio. No, I like to program the radio with the computer, especially if it's business or public safety. What I want the full keypad on there for is, is that lots of times some radios will allow you to also use that as the actual like quick channel of functionality. So I could push one and go to channel one, and I could push two and go to our attack channel. I could push three and go to paging. Those kind of things like that on there. So that's what I wanted in a radio. So that's that's kind of it. 
Now, the last and final thing I'll talk about my radio here that I like is I really, really like radios that have the ability to function with the same battery or same accessories. So I could take this battery off this model and I could take it and I could slide it and put it on another model that's not the same exact model, okay? So I'm not talking like a VHF to UHF, but I mean like a completely different design model. And then that's the same battery or that's the same speaker mic or that's the same antenna. And I know you're saying a lot of radios have the ability to do that. They do, but some radios don't. And that really influences me, especially for the different hats I wear as an amateur, as MCOM, as all those kind of things like that. I, I need that flexibility. Because I'll tell you, especially if you're own, your own radio user, having a radio that can share accessories cuts the cost of radio ownership, cuts the cost of a lot of that things down to almost nothing because I can use it, right? I don't need to buy a new speaker mic because I have this radio or I like this radio. And I don't know if anybody watching here is involved in public safety or is involved in business communications, or maybe you're just a ham that likes to do that, whatever the case may be. But I, 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 for public safety wise, I have an on-duty radio that I use on duty and everything like that. And then for personal use, I have an off-duty radio is what I kind of call it here. When I'm talking with those different radios, what it boils down to is, is that I keep my on-duty radio on duty. I wear that all the time on duty. It's programmed that way, it has things set up. You know, I turn off the display lights, I turn off those kind of things like that. So at night, if a received conversation comes in, it's not like all of a sudden I got like this, you know, lightning bug popping up on my hip. You know what I mean? So that's what I really like, and that's how I have my duty radio set up. My off duty radio, I carry that with me. If I'm off duty, I'm in the car, I'm all going on a walk, or, you know, wherever the case may be. But then, hey, great, my battery's dead on this one. Oh, shoot. It's a different complete battery than what my on-duty radio is. Oh, crap. Well, now I have to wait to charge, and now I can't carry a radio. No. Now, moving on to the scanner. All righty. The scanner is a completely different type of, 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 of thing for me. And this is me personally. Because now that list of operational stuff really is going to drive me whether I'm buying this radio or not. Some scanners have feature sets on there that they can do that, all righty? Meaning like, oh, you can do an upgrade or you can do this or this or this. Case in point, um, you know, scanner here, it's, uh, it, it, it doesn't come with DMR, it doesn't come with NextGen, doesn't come with some other digital voice technologies, comes with P25. Okay, P25, that's not a problem. I like that, want that, you know, have to have that in a scanner, but then I also wanna have DMR in it. Well, you gotta pay that option. If there was not an option for DMR, as an example, or next end even, um, it, it, would, it would be out. It would be just straight out. It wouldn't be like, well, I'm gonna, I could buy this, and oh, okay, fine, this. Well, then I could buy radio this. No, I, if I want a scanner, I want a whole kind of scanner on there. All righty. Now let's 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 shift to the. I would really like it. You know, good case in point is is that I would really like a slimline battery. Is it something that's gonna make or break it? On there, no, it's not going to make or break it in any way, shape, or form. Not having a true belt clip, yeah, I can live with that. I can get over that. That's that's not a problem. But one of the things I really wanted, um, especially with the scanner, and these days with all these digital modes and something, I want a scanner to tell me data, and I mean a lot of data. And I don't really know if this can if this can see it on there, but um, I'll try to put it up there. It probably might be a little too blurry on there, and I do apologize if it is. Whoop. And then my whole thing just went off. I apologize. See, that's what happens when you don't have the production staff there. My apologies on there. Um, but um, I, I don't know if you can really see it, but it has a lot of data on there. And what I mean by a lot of data, it's telling me like what zone or bank that I have, how it's receiving signal strength, telling me like site IDs, battery abilities and stuff. I actually wanted that as functionality on there. If this didn't have functionality of that on there, I'll turn on the lights one more time again on the screen. If that didn't have that functionality on there, then to me, that's that's not worth it in a scanner. That's a that's a thing that I actually need on there. Um, so so like I said, it's it's really interesting because you know it's not like we're buying it to just go ahead and and say hey. Yeah, I guess I can do it. Um, I have purchased radios. I have purchased scanners in the past that have been like, 
eh, okay, you know, I guess it works for me. Um, I guess I'll play with it. I'll do with it, whatever the case may be. And I'll give you a good example of the scanner thing. For the longest time, scanners, you know, and I'm not talking crystal controlled. I'm talking actual programmable scanners. You used to have the ability, it started out with just numbers, right? So it was like 1 through 16 or whatever, whatever. Then names came around. Then you could actually name frequencies, okay? And when we started to be able to name frequencies, it's so windy. My cigar lighter is even blowing out. And when you came to name frequencies, that was kind of like the creme de la creme of things. That, to me, was something I wanted in a scanner from there on out. And if it was just normal conventional stuff, not a problem. <clears throat> Have the names. But now, and I'm sure... A lot of you that are watching it here, you are scanner enthusiasts to a degree, or you have a scanner of some sort on there. And what you'll notice is, is that with these trunk systems, you know, especially out there, these multi-mode systems or stuff out there, you know, you're having, you know, not only do you got to do the system name, but then you got to do the site name, and then you got to do the talk group number or a talk name for that. So you got like name after name after name, and that's why I wanted so much like data on there so I could see what I'm doing. So I'm like not listening and hmm, am I listening to the local fire department or am I listening to the local power company or do I happen to be listening to the local digital voice amateur repeater? What am I doing? What am I listening to? That's where that really a lot of that data and that display kind of comes out in play. Now, talking about names, one last thing I didn't say about um, looking at the two-way radio thing is there, I'm very big on names with that too. And I'm, I'm, it's like 99%, I will say, as a function of requirement, I need to have a good size display and I need to be able to have the, the names, the characters take over. I don't, especially in business radios and public safety radios, there's no need for you to worry about the frequency. There isn't, okay? I'm not going to go to, an, and you know, next time I'm on duty, I'm not going to go ahead and call my ambulance and say, hey, ambulance, I need you to go to, you know, 154, you know, 428 or 5 or something like that. No, they're not going to know that. They're going to know the name. Or better yet, some just know the channel number, okay? I need you to go to channel 2 TAC. Okay, they're going to know, go to channel 2 TAC on there. All right, so that's where, that's where it's important. That's there. Now, the reason I say it's kind of like 99% functionality and 1% and kind of wishing is, is that, if it doesn't have the name, but it has the channel number and it's very clear and defined on the channel number, then I'm okay with that also too. Because then I could say, go to channel two, TAC, or, you know, go to, go to, go to channel eight hospital. Okay. Those kind of things. That's fine. If they have a 16 channel radio, which, which we do have some 16 channel only radios because they're like, like incident radios, you know, they're not normal carry duty radios. We can get by with that. We could say, Hey, Go to channel two, go to channel eight, whatever the case may be, you know, but once you start getting over that 16 channel mark, that's where that name thing comes into play. And you have to have a name for functionality. If you over have over 16 channels, you have to have the name on there. Alrighty. So <clears throat> once again, it's recorded. Sorry about the little camera mix up here. We're still kind of sort of working bugs out here and everything. Sorry about the streaming thing, but in all reality, if you're watching this on YouTube, definitely in the comment section. Tell us what, tell me, or tell us as a, as a community, as, as people getting together, tell us what you look for in a radio for features. You know, what are you looking for? I, I actually have talked to some people, and I know there's some people, they said, you know, what I really look for in a radio is something other than SMA connectors. The, the person I was talking to, he, he didn't like SMA connectors. He really liked the BNC connectors, but he didn't like SMA for the radios. So what he does is he takes a look at what what the radio has for connections on there. And then what he'll do is when he's like, okay, if it has an SMA connector and he really doesn't like it, really doesn't want it, guess what he'll do? He'll go ahead and actually find an adapter then that's going to put it to whether it be a BNC connector or whatever's going to work for him. So he actually will say, I will do that. So once again... It's not a requirement of functionality, but it's a big, big want. And if he can't overcome that want, you know, can't find the solution for it, then how can he adapt to that solution? So that's, that's kind of that whole thing there. So 
I'm going to end it here because it's getting dark. <clears throat> I don't even have the lighting up yet or lighting turned on yet. I know it's probably getting a little hard to see me here. So I do appreciate it. I promise we will work hard to be back next week live, be able to stream live on YouTube. We are also looking at other things on there. So um, hit up the comments. Tell me about your radios. Tell me about the scanners. Remember, non-branded, non-manufacturer specific. Let's just keep it at the general, as I say, 10,000 foot view. Out there, let me know. In addition, let me know how you're liking this. This is our third installment on there. I know I've had a lot of people that um, have subscribed to the channel. I appreciate it that you subscribe to it. Um, I appreciate the likes. I appreciate the subscribers on there um, and everything like that. I'm not looking for subscriber counts and all that stuff. That's that's not what I'm into. But I really like the interaction that has been taking place so far. So from Studio A on the porch here, from Communications and Cigars, a chilly on uh, Northwest Wisconsin, Western Wisconsin night. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm going to say 73s, and we'll catch you on the radio a little bit later. <laughs>